Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT's video on how to install Windows 8.1 on a Mac without OS X. Okay guys, so why would you want to install Windows 8.1 on a Mac without OS X? Well, you might not have enough disk space on your drive to install both OS X and to install Windows. Uh, you might uh, want to run some Windows apps or some Windows games and uh, to do that, you might need uh, enough disk space on your drive to be able to, to run Windows plus the games. Okay, so what do we need to do to make this happen? The first thing, guys, you need to do is back up your data. So if you go into Go, go into Computer, and on your hard drive here has all the OSX files. This is all going to be completely wiped. So what I would suggest is make a backup of this data and um, uh, if you ever need to, to, to reinstall OSX and put your data back on there, you've got a copy of it. Okay, so only do this video if, if you really want to remove everything on your Mac and just put, put uh, Windows on there. Okay, so the next, next thing we need to go over real quick is um, make sure you have a uh, Mavericks uh, USB stick so you can reinstall Mavericks if you need to. It's much easier than trying to go through and download it uh, from Apple and, and reinstall it that way. You can just install it straight from the USB stick. Okay, so I'll show you uh, a video on the 123myit.com website. If you go there and in the search menu up the top, if you type in Mavericks USB and then hit enter. And if you scroll down, how to create a bootable OSX Mavericks USB drive. So this allows you to put in the USB drive and reinstall Mavericks if you need to, okay? So this process that we're about to do will install just Windows and not Mavericks at all, or not OS X at all, okay? The uh, next thing I wanna show you guys is if you want a copy of Windows 8 Preview, you can actually click on the Downloads menu at the top and download a copy of the Windows 8 preview which is here. I'm going to use today, I'm going to use this version here which is the 64-bit version and I've already downloaded it and I've burnt it to a uh, DVD. If you don't know how to burn it to a DVD you can just type in up the top burn ISO file ISO file in the 123 and you'll find some videos there. So this is uh, how to burn an ISO or DMG file to DVD on a Mac. So I just click on that one. The next step that we need to do is just to work out what type of Mac we have, okay? And the reason for this is we'll need to download the Windows support software uh, once Windows is installed, okay? Now you can do this now or you can do this after you install Windows. It's probably better to do it now so you have a copy of it. Uh, because you, you might have some problems with uh, Wi-Fi uh, once you install Windows 8.1 and you will need this bit of software to fix that issue. Okay, so we go to Apple and we go to About This Mac, click on More Info, all right, and you can see that this MacBook Pro is a 13-inch mid-2012, so we want to go back to the 123MyIT website, hover over the Mac menu, go to MacBook Pro, and we want to find mid 13 inch mid 2012. So let's have a look here. 13 inch, 13 inch mid 2012. So it says here it supports Windows 8 64 bit, which we've got a copy of. And this is the download link uh, from Apple, which allows us to download all the drivers and things that Windows needs to run properly on your Mac. Okay. So if we have a look at that there, bootcamp drivers and we will actually need those after. I'm just gonna cancel that for now because I can download that at a later stage. Okay guys, and the last thing I wanna show you is if you uh, want to install uh, Windows but have uh, OS X uh, and want to keep your OS X partition, then go into the 123MyIT website and just type in install Windows 8.1 on a Mac. All right, and if we scroll down, we will find some tutorials there, uh, mainly this one, MacBook Pro is a good one, and or this one here. Okay, so this one is if you have a DVD drive, and this one is if you have no DVD drive on a MacBook Air. All right, guys, so the first thing we need to do now, once we've worked out what, uh, what our bootcamp drivers are, we're just gonna close down all our apps, and we're going to restart the Mac, 
Um, I'm going to switch over to the camera and show you what we need to do next. Okay guys, so we've moved over to the camera now. Uh, you can see I've got my Windows 8.1 uh, DVD ready to go. Now you can use the ISO file, but you'll need to obviously uh, copy the ISO file to a USB stick. And uh, so let's say if you had a MacBook Air that doesn't have a DVD drive, um, you'll be able to do this same process, but you'll be able to uh, copy all the Windows 8 uh, files to a USB stick. And there's a, if you go to the 123MyT, Dot com website you'll be able to find a uh, video on there when you search in the top for it okay guys so what we're going to do now is we're just going to restart the Mac so go to Apple and then restart and when we restart we're going to hold down this option key here okay and once it's started up there what we're going to do is just push in the Windows 8.1 DVD Okay, once it starts up we want to go to EFI boot and then hit enter. When you get that press any key to boot from CD or DVD, we want to press enter. Okay, and once you get this screen here, we just want to go through and uh, select a language to install. Uh, English United States. Uh, and then select time and currency. For me, I'm going to go to English Australia. And keyboard method US, just go next. Install now. Okay, so it's asked us to put in a product key there, and I'm going to use the Windows Blue Preview Edition uh, product key. Now this is a free uh, version of Windows, which after you use it for one month, you will have to then either opt to purchase it, or it will restart every two hours. So if you can put up with it restarting two hours, um, then don't bother to buy it, but if you really want it and most people do um, just go ahead and pay for it or if you decide you don't want it at all you can just remove the remove it and reinstall OS X on your Mac is the easiest way okay you just want to accept the terms and agreements put a tick in that hit enter custom install okay we want to go to the bottom I'll just go back actually real quick because I went past that a little bit quick you can upgrade it and keep all any files and settings so this option is if you wanted to upgrade from like a Windows 7 install um, or if you want to custom install Windows Advance only, this is the method that we're going to go for today. And what we're going to do, click on the other partitions. So we want to leave the EFI partition, but on the other partitions we want to uh, delete. Now before you do this guys, um, you're actually deleting your OS X. So at this stage if you decide you, you, don't, you no longer want to follow this and you don't want to lose your OS X and just have Windows running, then uh, don't go ahead and do this next step. Just go, just uh, click on the X and get out of it. But anyway, so let's uh, go ahead and we want to delete the first partition. Delete the second one. All right. And now that we've gone that far, we just want to select the uh, drive that's left and hit next. Okay guys, so what it's doing now is it's going to go through and install all the Windows files from the Windows DVD there. Um, this process usually takes about uh, 5 to 10 minutes, uh, depending on the speed of your Mac. So if you've got an older one, it may take longer. If you've got a, a fairly new Mac, then it may take shorter time. So just let it run and let it do its thing, and uh, it should start up shortly. Okay guys, so once it finishes, it will actually do a restart. And then we have it, so it's started up now. So it just wants the PC name, we'll call it uh, MacBook. I'm just going to go and go use Express Settings. You can hit Customize there if you want. Username will make it 123MyIT. And then go Finish. Okay guys, so you can see that it's started up there now. And if we go down to the Start Bar, there we go, we have uh, the, the familiar Windows 8 start menu. Alright, so that's all installed now. So if we do a restart here, it will uh, boot back into our, um, our Windows and uh, we'll be good to go. Now the next thing you'll need to do, obviously, once you install Windows 8, is you'll need to go back to the 123MyT website. You'll need to download those uh, drivers if you haven't done previously the bootcamp drivers. If we have a look uh, down the bottom here 
uh, where our Wi-Fi connection would be, you can see it's showing no networks available. Well, why is that? That's because we don't have the boot camp drivers installed. Okay, and I'll show you how to install those. Okay guys, so we've gone back to the 123MyIT website. We've downloaded our boot camp drivers onto our USB that we downloaded earlier. We're going to pop this in the side. Okay, we're going to open it up. All right, we're going to grab the boot camp drivers that we download or the boot camp file, copy it to our desktop. All right, now remember that we said that our, our Wi-Fi wasn't working. Also things like your, um, your up and down volume buttons won't work, your brightness buttons won't work, even right clicking with your mouse, that also won't work until you install these drivers. Okay, so once the bootcamp file is on the desktop there, we want to open it up, we want to go to extract, extract all, and then we want to extract it to our desktop. You can see that it creates the bootcamp folder there. And once that's extracted, we want to go into the folder. So let's just close these other ones down to give you an idea of what we're doing here. We want to go into this bootcamp folder, go into the folder within that bootcamp folder within the bootcamp folder there, and double click on the setup. All right, we want to just hit yes. All right, then we want to go next on the bootcamp installer. We want to accept the license agreements and go install. Right, and like I said before guys, once you install this uh, bootcamp drivers, you will have the function back, like you will have your Wi-Fi back, you will have uh, you know, your buttons, your mouse buttons, you will have your volume up and down buttons all fixed. Okay guys, so once the bootcamp installer is finished, just click on finish, and it will ask you to do a restart of your machine. Now, uh, if you have a look down here, when I click on our uh, wireless, so it actually comes up with all wireless now, so we know that the drivers are installed properly. We just want to hit yes to do a restart, and then the machine will restart. Once the machine's restarted, or your Mac's restarted there, you'll be able to uh, just go in and uh, start using it as normal. Um, the one last thing I want to show you guys is if we go into the file explorer So this shows you that there's only a DVD in our bootcamp drive There is no OS X partition on this Mac at all Okay guys, so that's pretty much it If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up Don't forget to subscribe And thanks for watching, bye bye